<sighs> it's a good day to be playing balloons. I wonder how my YouTube's doing. Well, I, uh, well, you see, I... Okay, you guys know the drill. We have 12 achievements that we need to do to 100% this game, but because of the nature of some of these achievements, I'm going to be teaming up with three of my friends. So, let's get these achievements done, starting with beating the damn game. Huh? Huh? Because it's like, because it... Alright, so, we start our adventure by dying. I'm not even kidding. We get medic for doing that. One out of twelve. Wait, that's fast. We gotta get this done in no time. Well, life moves on. The princesses get captured, and we kill our first boss. We make our way to the pirate ship and see that we need these three items to progress. So we make our way back to the blacksmith, get the compass, and we find ourselves over at the sawmill. We have to escape from this thing while riding on these gears and not hitting any obstacles. It's not that hard. We get our third out of 12 achievements and fight a few bosses. Cat thing, dead. Polar bear looking thing, dead. Giant bat, dead. Bees, sure, dead. They're not really a boss, but it's fine. We perfectly come off of this catapult and find ourselves at the hardest boss that we've come across in the game. Crashing the wedding. Huh. Well. More bosses! We killed the weird creature thing that we ran away from earlier. The Cyclops kills himself, we save our second princess, and we buy some sandwiches. Alright, look at this. We use a sandwich to break down this door. We use another sandwich to kill this volcano thing. We use another sandwich to kill this sock puppet dragon. And we use another sandwich to take down this door. Okay? We kill this boss, spare his life, and get our telescope. Alright, so we got all three items we need to go on the ship, and we get invaded by ninja pirates. I, I love this game. The desert! Oh look, it's the thumbnail. We dig up 10 pieces of treasure, get the achievement real quick, and we get abducted by aliens? I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I don't even know what's happening anymore. There's a self-destruct sequence, we make it out, kill a living corn, and oh, damn. Uh, we kill Medusa, damn. And kill the Ice Queen, and we make our way to the final four bosses. Let's see what achievements we have left. Oh, subscribe to the channel. Only 0.4% of you are subscribed, so maybe subscribe? Hand reveal at 5k. And also, if you want to be like some of these fine folk, follow my Twitch. Maybe I whimper there. I don't know. You guys want to whimper, right? Scary, scary, scary. We have the final four bosses. And our first guy... I'm in your castle. This <laughs> is very silly. <laughs> So we killed the resurrected Cyclops, and surely, surely this guy is harder, right? This is like, this is a joke, right? Oh, final boss. We have to destroy these four red crystals, then we fight the boss head on, and then he goes to his true form, <laughs> this balloon, huh? I don't know, but we kill it, boss over. Just kidding, it's, yeah, he becomes this weird spider looking thing. That's not his true form, because <laughs> remember his true form is actually the balloon. <laughs> we kill him, 6 out of 12, the game is over. Alright, so looking at our second playthrough, I'm going to try and complete these three. They shouldn't be too hard, but before that, we get our fourth princess kiss at... If I have to sit through it, you have to too. Alright, starting our second adventure. I did a little bit of grinding off camera, don't worry. And we just be a sitting duck the entire time. We have to be a pacifist. 
and we kill the first boss and kill two birds with one stone. We make our way through, kiss the first princess, kill the cyclops again, so we can kiss the second princess in a multiplayer game, and kill the ice queen a third time, kiss the blue princess again, because we need it for a multiplayer game, and we make our way once again to the final boss, kill him, and we get bamboozled again. 9 out of 12. I had to sit through it again, you have to do. Okay, okay, okay. We have this achievement, right? I'm gonna do it right now because I hate this achievement. So we have to play this game where we have to navigate the board as this thing for 2 minutes and 30 seconds straight. But it's harder than it looks because your lefts are your downs and your rights are your ups. It's terrible. It gives it gave me a headache the entire time. But like, pay attention. Pay attention. Don't lose your don't lose focus. So here's the end of the run. <laughs> okay, this only took me like 15 minutes to finish. But I will be lying to you if I didn't tell you that this felt like hours. I had to listen to this dog shit music for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I reset like okay, I didn't reset that. It was took me 15 minutes. It wasn't that hard. But I don't know why this mini game was in the. It, they didn't need to put this in the game. It's terrible. What were they thinking? Ten out of twelve. All right, all right. We're gonna do something a little bit more fun now. We're gonna collect every single pet in the game. So, to do this, I compiled a little list of who I was missing, and I made this little compilation of me collecting them all, starting with Sherbert, Pazo, Hawkster, Burly Bear. Chicken, Froglet, Install Ball, Meowbert, Mr. Buddy, Troll, Yeti, Zebra, Pelter, and Dragonhead, Piggy, Spiny, <laughs> Beholder, this ugly piece, and Monkey Face. And we're left with one more achievement. Okay, so for this last achievement, I need to complete 40 online matches in the arena, but the online in this game is pretty dead. So I got one of my friends on to play with me and killed them over and over and over again until we hit 12 out of 12. 25 hours later, Castle Crashers is 100% complete. Off the script. Thank you guys so much for the relentless support. It really means the world to me. And I'd also appreciate it if you weren't here to subscribe. Okay, bye.